Hey everyone, how's it going? Luke Strains here. Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be talking about how to build a row scale layout in Roblox. Now, this is the first episode in a series of a few, and today's episode is going to be about getting started with your first layout. So what you're gonna need to go what you're gonna need to do here is create a Roblox account and then you're gonna go to Google and search up row scale and then we could see we have this group here this link to the group and then this is the row scale trains group and you don't have to join it but I would and then you click on this link here where you get some of the models and we can see it's loading and we have all these models here now for the first episode we don't need all of these all we need right now is the coal mine set, which, yeah, this row scale coal mine starter set. So you gotta press get and get now, it's completely free. And that's all you need to do for now. So, what we're gonna do now is launch the Roblox editor. So, here we are in the Roblox editor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new world on flat terrain it's gonna open all right so the editor is open and we can see that we've got our terrain here so to move around you use the WSAD keys or the arrow keys you can zoom in zoom out all right so what we need to do first is we've got this little tab over here we're gonna click on this which is our models we can see that we've got the coal mine here so we're gonna drag it in to the world and you can see that stuff is loading down there oh and we can release it now it looks like that it spawned in the ground so what we're gonna actually go is we're gonna click on the move tool here and we're gonna click and drag on that arrow raise it up a little bit all right so we actually do have a layout in the world now Alright, so now that you've got your layout in the game, well, how do I run it? So we're going to click this play button right here, and it'll load up. And then so, we've got our avatar here, and we can see that we've got our layout. Now, we don't have a controller to control these trains, but right over here we do. So if we walk over it, we can see that we picked it up. So... To get an address for the train, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can type in the address, which you need to know the address, which you can either look on the side, or you can hit Find Address, and you'll see all of the addresses of all the locomotives nearby. You can click on it if you want, and now we've got access to the train. Okay, so our train is ready. We've got it. I mean, we've, we've acquired the address, so to move it forward, we can click and drag the throttle, or you can press E on the keyboard. So I'm going to press E. We can see that it's starting to move now. And just like that, you've got your own working train layout. Now, you can switch directions to stop it. You can turn the throttle back down manually, or you can hit Z. Oops, sorry. You can hit R to find the address, and Q is to back up. Oh, wait. So, to get the backup mode, you can either hit reverse, and then hit E, or you can change the mode and put it in the yard mode. See, this is drive mode normally, and you have to hit forward and reverse, but when you're in yard mode, you don't. So, you use Q to E to go forward and Q to go backwards. And I prefer yard mode. Oh, we do have a... Do we have a light? No, we don't have any lights on this unit. Oh, yeah, we do. In the back there. And then we do have a horn. We can click it. Or we can press H. So, these switches do actually function. If you click on them. So, we can go in there and pick up some cars if we want to.
and then we can pull out and we've got a working layout. The switches will switch themselves if you got a train coming in from the opposite direction. Watch this. Alright, so now that we've got our basic layout in, why don't we put some cars on it? Now what I'm going to do is stop this simulation. And then we see we've got our, our layout reset. So we're going to go back into our web page, or, or web, the online Roblox, and let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and get this seat model right here. And I really like this seat mo car because you can actually sit on it. That's something really cool. So now that we've got it downloaded, let's go back into the editor, and it didn't, it's not in there yet, so... So we can see now that we've got the layout, I mean, we can see now that we've got our seat car. You may need to close the editor and reopen it, but we do have our seat. So let's drag that into the world. Now, placing the car on the tracks is as simple as you drag it as close as you can to the rails. Then what you're going to do is you got to raise it up a little bit. And then we're gonna move it that way, so we get we can see that it is not lined up. It's lined up over both rails. Wait, I think it is. Lower it down a little bit. So we got to get it onto the tracks. Lower. Is it lowered on? Yep, it's pretty much on the tracks. Oops. So what you want to do is get the wheels aligned with the rails as best you can. And maybe a little more this way. There. Alright, so you want to have the wheel a little bit into the tracks like we do here. And so, it looks like we have on the, it looks like we have it on the tracks pretty well. Let's go ahead and test it. All right, so we go to our play button, and our game's gonna load. And then, so we just spawned at a random spot. If you want to put a spawn pad in, you can. But as we can see, the chair car is on, and you can sit on it. So we pick up our throttle, just take the address, and we're gonna back up a little bit so we can see that the cars did connect and we can pull it yes this is the beauty of row scale is you can have you can follow your trains you can have your trains pull you so you can cruise around your layout if you want to all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for episode one you've learned how to how to make a layout how to insert track and how to control the trains and even how to add a freight car or two so i hope you can use this knowledge in a good way and thank you for watching oh before you go let's take a look at how to save this and make it public if you want to so what we're gonna oops, sorry. so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file and then we're going to go to save to Roblox as, and then we're just going to name it, how about my first, my first layout. And then so you can mess with all this stuff if you want to. And then we're going to hit create. And then it is successfully published. Alright, so what we need to do next is actually make this public. The game exists, but it's not public yet. So if we go to the My Games tab, so this is the default new game tab, we go to the My Games tab, and we can see that we have our layout here. So let's you hit the three buttons, and hit Make Public. And then that's it. Your layout is now on Roblox for everybody to see. So let's go and check that out right now. So if we go to our profile, we can see 
we hit creations and then we see my first layout so we can click on it and then we gotta hit play so then the Ro roblox is gonna launch and we could see that we have our layout behind us so we can pick up our throttle and you can see that we can just run our trains as normal Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for episode 1. Hopefully I can release episode 2 sometime soon. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like and turn on notifications so you can be the first one to see the video when it, a new video when it comes out. Once again guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.